We're going to take a few minutes and work on this shape uh, with isometric drawing. Now this is kind of a tough shape because it involves circles um, and it's difficult to line up on everything. So we are going to start with this point right here which is going to be our point of origin. Now you'll notice I'm doing this one in a pencil because it's really easy to make a mistake. So I'm just going to draw a point of origin right there. And I'm going to count over one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And make another point. Five, six. Then I'm going to connect the lines right there. Uh, from there, if you notice, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll go over seven. Then it goes sort of halfway up right there. So I'm going to do that. Just like that, right there. Now above the point of origin, two spaces high. Okay, I'm just going to make a construction line so I can keep, uh, keep everything straight. We're talking this point right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, right there. And I'm going to connect the line. Okay? So again, this is just a very light construction line right there. Now from here, if I go across three, one, two, three, and again, a very light construction line, I have that point right there. Now you can see this comes out one and a half. So if I go one and a half, there is the high point of my curve. So it'll be something like that right there. And then the same thing down here. Draw a line down and just like so. Okay, so we have that a little more solidified. We can erase the construction lines when we're all said and done with everything. Now back here, from this point, we go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six right there. And connect the lines, like so. Now we have pretty much this shape done. Now the difficult portion is this round stuff. So we have this point and this point done already. And you can see that if that were a straight line right there, that it comes out about a half. So we are going to put a mark right there. Uh, actually a little bit over. and then try as best as we can to draw a round right there okay and I can erase that construction line now if I go one up it's actually a little over one I should be able to follow that right there okay so we have that and the beginning of the circle right there now from here now that I have this established this vertical I like to draw a few construction lines just so I can see it a little bit better and from here we can actually mark the center which from this point which is this point looks to be about one and a half in. So one and a half right there. So that will be the center of our little circle. So our little circle center, it goes out about one in each direction. So I'm going to mark that. And then I'm going to do the best that I can to sort of stay within that, just like so. And I went a little bit out there. So I will erase that and try it again.
There you go. That's a little bit better. Uh, then what I need to do is go straight up from here. Okay. And now I can... draw in the rest. Obviously I made a mistake right there. I went too far out. Almost. Drawing a circle freehand is pretty tough. Okay, so I'm going to call it right there. It's not perfect, but it's pretty darn close. Drawing these shapes freehand can be pretty difficult. Okay, so stop this video, rewind, and replay as many times as you need to get the concept, because this is a rough one to draw.